Hey Technostuds, let's take a look at the ARP table and see what it looks like. We know that we have to use MAC addresses to communicate on the local area network. And if we're used to using IP addresses or the machines are communicating at the IP uh, address level, then it still has to get a MAC address to send that communication out on a local area network. So let's take a look at what that uh, what the uh, ARP table looks like. So to do that, I'm gonna click the start button and I'm gonna type in CMD to bring up a command prompt. And with the command prompt up, I'm gonna type in ARP a or ARP all, I wanna see all of the table here. So you, we can see that there's two interfaces. It has this 192.168.74.12 and this this is actually the wireless interface, which is 192.168.42.45. Okay, so 42.45, that's the address that's assigned to this machine. We're gonna call this our demo laptop because I'm demoing on it. Uh, so this is our demo laptop. And I'm actually re remoted into it from a, my working laptop. So I'm going to call this other machine here that I'm remoting in from my working laptop, which the IP address of it is 192.168.42.152. So it needs to know a MAC address to communicate back and forth. And I take a look and there is the MAC address of my working laptop. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run through the process of deleting this table and see how fast it populates again. It should be really quick and it should be really quick because it's making this connection. There's a remote connection between these two devices. And so as soon as I clear this out, it instantly has to go and find out this data again. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Now, uh, if I were to type this right now, I'm gonna do ARP-D and it's actually gonna give me a warning because I, uh, I need elevated um, privileges on this. So to get elevated privilege on a command prompt, I'm gonna open up my windows again, hit CMD, but instead of hitting enter to open this up, I'm going to right click on it and say run as administrator. It's gonna prompt me, make sure this is what I want. Yes, it is. Now I'm going to type in uh, I'll do this one more time, ARP-A, we can see the table is populated with quite a few entries. I'm going to clear this out with a dash D to delete it. And then immediately I'm going to go back and type that in. We can see it's cleared out all of the entries with the exception of the ones, well, it, it's cleared everything out, but it really quickly had to, once again, because there's an active connection between my working laptop and my demo laptop, it had to really quickly go out there and discover what the MAC address of that laptop is again. So there is the ARP table. It's pretty fascinating. You can see some uh, multicast address in there. You can see some um, uh, interesting information in there. So it might be kind of fun to pull that up and take a look at that, uh, that ARP table that's on your machine.